Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you another project which is called Online Banking Management System. So, let's see the project, the flow of the complete flow of the application. If we talk about the technologies is, or other projects, we are using the JSPN servlets with uh, Maven and MBC architecture. You can see it here is the controller part, exception part, model part, and different, different parts are there. And we are using the POM.xml as a Maven project manage all the software. Let's run the project and check the flow of the project completely. And later at the end of the video will show you how to get the source code and how can you can configure the software at your machine. So this is the home page of project. To manage the database we are using the MySQL database. So here is the banking project. Here is the database for the bank management system. This one, these are the tables under the uh, database like uh, user table, role table, fund transfer, bank transaction, bank account balance. So, what are the main functionalities of the application? Let's me switch to port1.com and check the article to find out the main functionalities of the project. Uh, project. We'll provide this link in the description box so you can easily uh, switch to this link and uh, check the details. So these are the requirements, the main basic software. That these are the working of the project like what admin can perform. So like admin can perform the edit update activity for the customer, for the bank, for the transaction details, and similarly the user. What can the user perform? And these are the technologies that uh, we're using in this project, like the technology JSPN separate. So let's see the live flow. So this is the home page of the application, the uh, header part, the body part, you can add the image here in the back end and ac according to your requirement and here is the uh, footer of the application. So this is the home page and if you click on the sign up button, sign in button, so you, you will get the sign in form, you click on the sign up button, you will get the sign up form, means the registration form. Lots of fields are there in the registration forms, which is called the bank name, account type, title, and user details and the personal details also. So let's start uh, with admin. So there are the two main module of the application, two main actor of the application who is going to interact with the application, which is the admin or a user. You can say the bank or customer. So in the database table, if you see the user table, inside this user table, there is a role ID 1 and 2. So if the role ID will be 1, then the user will be admin and if the role ID will be 2, then the user will be the customer. So let's log in with the admin first. So I'm going to log in with this credential. So this is admin at gmail.com and the, I guess the password is admin at the 3 to 1. So it is a proper validation we are maintaining like if I entered like I entered the wrong ID password then it's showing the invalid login and password. So when I click on the sign in button now it's done and let's log in successfully you can check your profile I mean admin can check his profile from here he can edit the data from here he can date and look here. if you want to update the chain password so you can change the password also from here also you can switch to change password. So these are the common functionalities if we talk about the main functionalities which is the administration. So under the administration, uh, admin can add a new user. It means admin can add a new customer. So like uh, let's see the bank name like Bank of India and type of account is saving. So title, uh, title you can enter in title like saving account or what kind of account it's has like a demo title currently I am entering the demo dummy data here the account number sorry account name so demo account name and the first name my like first name demo and the second name is like user and the login ID at the date gmail.com. Let's enter a password demo at the rate 
again the password demo at the rate one two three and here is the login ID so same login ID we can use in the email also date of birth you can enter your date of birth mobile number 10 is it valid mobile number one two three four five six seven eight, eight, eight. so here is a validation behind this mobile field so you can you have to enter the 10 is it valid number so your signer and the fax enter dummy data and nationality india when you click on the save button It's going to save the data in the database and will reflect in the database table. So data is registered successfully. Let's check the database table for the user. So you can see the new entries here. Okay, this is the one part. So I'm going to show you the demo the database connectivity for this. So let's see the another demo. Add the bank name. Like if I'm going to add the bank name, so that bank name will display in the uh, add user. Like I'm gonna add a uh, add a new bank, so demo bank and IFC code. The six short code your description. So whatever the recently bank we add, the bank will come here in the uh, bank name in, the, in, the, in this list. And a book transaction in case is there any transaction is pending from the customer side so admin can update the transaction from here <coughs> let's check the reports user report is there so whatever the transaction any user is going to perform this will show here view trans transaction so for that particular user which is a hurry home <coughs> view transaction history in detail all the detail you can search here you can search by the name you can search by the account number the detail the transaction this is the fund transfer report uh, where the, all this complete uh, all the status are complete if we try the one the first one then then there will be the, if user going to transfer some fund then the status will be in process once the admin will complete it and product transfer will be reflected in the other users account so let's check the all the transaction these are the all the transaction list and search functionality is also there <coughs> let's log in with a new user which we recently created like uh, we create a user which is called uh, demo demo at the gmail.com so as a customer i'm going to log in, in now now as a customer i'm going to log in in the application so when i hit the sign in button <coughs> you can see the account balance currently the balance is zero because it's the new and the funds transfer and fund transfer reports are there book transactions so this is a new user so i'm going to add a new any existing user which have some data so I'm gonna log in with this user <coughs> so for this example uh, for example this uh, account has a lot balance so fund transfer into the beneficiary account number so how can you check the beneficiary account number you can you have to go on the database table and you have to check like for this demo user we want to send the money the, which we have created recently so just enter the um, account number and the transaction amount like I want to enter 5000 and the routing and I click on the save data is saved successfully now <coughs> That particular fund is minus from this account and fund transfer is you can check the fund transfer report it's a stealing processing it need to be update from the admin side and book transaction report this is a complete report as a user you can check now I'm gonna log in as an admin and going to approve that payment I logged in as an admin and use a report inside this view transaction Okay, in the fund report, this 
the recent transaction we have made for from the Harium to demo user and it's, it's still in process as an admin we need to update this so I'm gonna update it I can update in 3 mode like cancel complete processing sorry process complete so when I click on the complete now check the you now it's completed so this will reflect in the demo user account now so if I'm gonna log in with demo user and click on sign on and now account balance so now the account balance is added as a 5000 so this is the main functionalities of the project and if you need this project just check the link in description box it will provide the link uh, description box which will be this kind of this link and it will show you complete detail of the project and the pricing and if you want this project you can contact on the detail is here like email you can email me you can skype me will send the complete configuration with the project report and the report is like uh, the, the, the report will contain all the diagrams like DAP diagram ER diagram and sequence diagram so you can contact uh, and this detail will provide the source code and the configuration also your machine will connect your machine remotely and will do the complete configuration so you demo at your side so thank you so much for watching the video if you like please subscribe the channel and share the video with